And in the first female fight of the card, we got Aline Perez taking on Jocelyn Edwards. And this is a bit of a grudge match. If you remember, before Aline Perez's last fight, her and Jocelyn had some sort of altercation at the UFC PI where even Perez's coach got involved and it was a whole ordeal. And it actually gave Perez that black eye going into the fight with Lucy Putalova, which ended up being pretty bad towards the end of that fight. So it was funny, Jocelyn Edwards, you know, honestly did more damage than Putalova did to Liam Perez that week. But um, they're finally going to get in the cage. They're going to settle their differences and someone's going to come out the winner. But um, both these girls, I guess you could say Aline Perez, two-fight winning streak, she's in a little bit better position. But they're kind of both in the same spot in the weight class. They're still kind of trying to prove that they're top 15 level. Um, so the winner of this fight is going to get a bigger opponent next. And we'll see what happens. But Edwards, pretty high level athlete. But I feel like she relies on her athleticism more than her skill level. And hasn't shown a lot of improvements, which I don't like to see. Especially because she's training with pretty good camps. You know, she was with Extreme Couture. Uh, I believe now, and she was with uh, Kings MMA also, I believe. So, but she seems like she has kind of a similar skill set. She's dangerous on the feet. She throws nice kicks, uh, straight punches. She has some power. She has some speed. She'll sit down on the three twos, but she doesn't have very good footwork. So fighters can get in on her, and her wrestling is not very good. That's going to be a problem in this fight because Pros Perez is going to bring a heavy dose of wrestling. I will say Edwards in her last fight, um, her judo was a little bit better and she was able to get some clinch takedowns on Nora Connell, who's more of a striking only fighter, but it showed some uh, evolution for Edwards, better fight IQ, but Perez, she's going to be shooting on the legs, which I think Edwards has a, lo a lot more issues with takedowns on the legs, and I feel like... Um, She's not going to be able to put Perez on her back or even try. So it's going to be more on Edwards having to defend the takedowns or getting back to her feet when she does get taken down and using her kicks. But she can sometimes explode and sweep and scramble. But I feel like if Perez could start taking her down, Edwards is kind of a fish on her back. She just lays there. Um, her last fight, she fought, she fought a kickboxer, like I said, so... Went a little bit better for her in the grappling, but I feel like that's definitely not a place she wants to be here. Her cardio isn't the greatest either when she's forced to grapple, so that's another thing. And I think she has issues with the weight cut. You know, I don't know if she's big for the division. Um, I think she is, you know, she does go up pretty high. I mean, 151 after 135, but um, she's missed weight twice, so... That's definitely something that could be an issue here for her. But Aline Perez, she's a grinder. Uh, big, strong legs, big double leg. Um, kind of has that wide-bladed stance on the feet, and she's definitely the better mover. Uh, she's going to be trying to move around and then pull Edwards into the blast double. Um, she should be prepared to defend and use the kicks of Edwards to get takedowns. I mean, that's going to be something on tape that you definitely see Edwards using a lot is her kicks. Um... But Perez, she doesn't have a ton of power, but she has a decent right hand. She throws some kicks. If this fight stays standing, it certainly favors Edwards. Edwards is going to have the more volume and power. Perez also doesn't like getting hit. I don't feel like the most. Um, but Perez is really strong, and if she gets on top, that's her world. She's going to try to get to half guard, stay heavy, throw sh that short ground and pound, uh, force Edwards to make mistakes, and... Perez overall just has good top control. Um, she gets on top. She could probably maintain position. And she has no problem just smothering her opponent and winning around uh, with top control. Um, her last fight, she did gas out bad in the third round. Um, which that was a little bit troubling to see. But I think in this fight, um, she's going to have better cardio. She's going to have something to prove. It's kind of a... Like I said, a fight where these girls don't like each other. Um, as long as Perez can get the takedowns, which I think she's going to be able to, she's going to win this fight. She can't let Edwards, 
use her judo to reverse and put her on her back or keep it standing. Um, but I just feel like Prez is probably too explosive. She's going to be able to get in on the legs, get the doubles. And um, the line's probably correct, though. So I don't see a ton of value in terms of uh, betting in this fight. Um, Edward's style, you know, has given her some close decisions. She has flashy moments. And uh, although they didn't give her a last decision, I thought she won. She's kind of dangerous enough for me to probably say lay off her um, betting against her and going with Perez. But I'm also not confident with Edwards either. So the decision win for me is going to go to Liam Perez, but uh, probably a stay away fight.